G'day YouTube. Linux Mint 19 Beta Edition recently came out today, so I thought I'd do an actually a bit of a revised video on the uh, top new features of Linux Mint 19. So starting off, and in fact, since I've just booted up Linux Mint 19, I might start off with advising about uh, the new welcome screen, which doesn't look like much here. Here we go, Linux Mint 19. But here we go. We've got a few options with first steps and uh, launching applications, and uh, basically simplifying it for pretty much for new users. I would say it's got a few cool little things things like getting us into IRC chat rooms and things of that nature, but that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, next of all, and uh, very importantly, it's been going around the internet recently that uh, the security uh, has been sort of updated in Linux Mint 19 to be a bit better than its uh, than its base package of uh, Ubuntu essentially. So of course Linux Mint 19 is based off Ubuntu, and it's no longer uploading any of your system or hardware data or user data like it used to. And uh, the reason why it used to do that is because of that uh, that very same base uh, packages that uh, it used to get from Ubuntu still gets most of them from Ubuntu, but not the one that actually uploads your system uh, data, hardware data, user data, things of that nature there. So that's pretty important and a lot of people online are talking about that one at the moment so I won't get into it too much now. Next is Cinnamon speed optimization. So basically the desktop environment, Cinnamon, uh, it has been updated from 3.6 to 3.83 uh, which is uh, which is really good to see. It is actually uh, a lot faster, a lot snappier, really good so I like to see that as well. And uh, in fact if we were to uh, load the system monitor we'll find that uh, Linux Mint 19 out of the box is only using 111, sorry, 411 megabytes of data, which is virtually nothing. Previous versions of Linux Mint, such as the previous version 18.3, used about 650 megabits, uh, megabytes out of the uh, the box. So that's, uh, that's quite impressive. That's really good to see, in fact. And last but not least is actually the user interface. So you will see it's got a, uh, a, a slightly new redesigned icon look. It's actually not just redesigned, it's actually crisper and more clean. What they've done is actually, they've changed where the pixels go in the icon. So it's uh, it's it's directly within a pixel, uh, the particular colors and images and things of that nature. And uh, I've done a side-by-side -side video, you guys can check out that if you want, but it's super more crisp and clean. And it just, it feels really good to have a later edition like this one. So I really like that a lot. Uh, let's see, I happen to be in the file manager, so let's look at that one, see if anything's changed. It looks like we're still using the Nemo file manager. Obviously it's 3.8 to coincide with uh, Cinnamon, and uh, let's have a look at Cinnamon, just because that is something good to do. Uh, let's just check the version, should I say, and 3.8, great, fantastic. And probably last but not least, uh, one of the main things, or a couple of the main things, is the kernel. It's been updated from version 4.10 to 4.15, which is great for, for later hardware, if you've got a newer machine, things of that nature. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Um, it is based off the latest Ubuntu 18.04 uh, long-term service release, which is good as well. The previous version of Linux Mint, which was 18.3, was based off a, a much older version of Ubuntu, so that's really good to see that it's latest and greatest in terms of base packages there as well, so that's fantastic. Uh, comes with a whole host of new wallpapers, which is really good to see too, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just a super quick video, uh, revised in this instance, now that I, I do officially have the real official version of, uh, of Linux Mint 19 on my machine. Just wanted to show you this, guys. So, yeah, cheers, guys. Um, appreciate your time. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks.